Welcome, I'm Cheryl and today we're going to be repairing the Whirlpool electric dryer. We're going to be replacing the thermal fuse. You'll probably need to do this repair if your dryer runs, but it isn't creating enough heat or no heat at all. This repair should take about 20 minutes. For this repair, we're going to need three tools. First, a quarter inch nut driver. Second, a pair of pliers. Lastly, we're going to need a multimeter in order to test our fuse. If you still need a new fuse, it is available for purchase on our website. Before repairing any appliance, always make sure it is completely disconnected from the power source. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to need to do is remove the small access panel on the back. So, what we're going to need to do is remove the top right screw with the quarter inch nut driver. This is going to release the back access panel, so just be mindful that it's going to loosen up here. It just slides right out. Now we just need to remove the remaining eight screws around the perimeter of the back panel. Now we just need to tip the back panel to about a 45 degree angle and slide out. So here we have the thermal fuse located towards the bottom left. First, we need to disconnect the terminals and then unmount the mounting screw with our quarter inch nut driver. And then it will just pop right out. In order to test our thermal fuse, we can use our multimeter. We can set it to the lowest setting of ohm, so we have 200 on ours. Um, and you'll see on the screen that we have a 1. In order to test to see if there's continuity, you apply both of the leads to each of the ends of the thermal fuse. Now, if this number stays the same, that means that there's no continuity. If there is a change in number, that means there is continuity. This one is currently not changing, so we know that this is a bad fuse. So here's our new thermal fuse. There's a little slit right at the top that needs to go into the bottom of the cut on the machine. So you slide that right in and it should lock into place like that. We take our mounting screw and we screw that right back into that hole. Nice and tight. Then we reconnect the terminals here does not matter which one goes on which, we're just making a circuit. Now that we have the thermal fuse all replaced, all we need to do is put everything back the way it started. So the back panel goes back in at a 45 degree angle, push it right back up and start screwing all the screws back in around the outside. Lastly, we just need to replace the small access panel. It goes in at an angle just like it came out. Line up the holes. You have your last screw. Go ahead and screw that right back in. And that's it. Here's a quick recap. All parts on our website are OEM parts, meaning they come straight from the manufacturer. These are parts you can rely on. That wasn't too hard, right? We would love to hear from you, so please leave a comment or feel free to contact us on any of our social media sites. You can check them out right here.